Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Pokemon Alpha Sapphire No Catch Run. In the last part, we uh, took down the Team Aqua Hideout, getting lots of training up for Anorith in the on the trip. Uh, I don't feel like these trainers are really going to be too helpful for us, so I'm just going to kind of push ahead till we get to. That's a really short route. I always thought it was longer until uh, we get to Mazdi, because right now. Anorith is definitely uh, overwhelmed by anything uh, water or... Um, yeah, look at this. One water attack. Anorith nearly dies. And just doesn't want us to let it run away. I'm not too worried Anorith is dead. I'm still not trying to do this fight. You couldn't get away. Alright. If I can't get away, I can't get away. I like the little punk look of this Pikachu, so I'll keep this one. I was going to debate switching it again, I don't know who else I would be. Um, really, Electric Drain wasn't helpful, Meteor Mash I even got rid of at this point. But we're back, we are in town, we got a big pearl, plenty of um, money now, thanks to it and the nuggets and other things like that. So. Heal up. And honestly speaking, we can pretty much head straight to the gym now. It's a bit weird. The gym is a joke. Uh, for the, they used to be the hardest gym in uh, Hoenn. I had so much trouble with it when I was playing it through um, Sapphire and Emerald. It was just so difficult. Now, it's uh, definitely lost a lot of that. It is a psychic gym, meaning Anorith is going to get some more experience here. Battle hinges on the strength of your spirit. Weak filled spirit, weak -filled spirit will never win. Challenge by Psychic Preston. Kadabra. Alright, strong psychic type. Uh, we would be a bit troubled if he's, I don't know, I guess 7 levels higher than us, but we're going to be big trouble. 8. Ooh. Uh, lots of experience at least we'll get from this. I want it to be around 40 for this fight. Roll play. Alright, you've got battle armor now. Congratulations. Um, I don't think that's going to help you. I know a lot of psychic types don't have the highest defense. So uh, it's going to make Anorith's pretty high attack kind of walk through them. I'm a little sad that it is such a big uh, difference in levels. And a lot of this one is double back to where you started. So hey, we're back at the beginning. Now we can go off and fight the next one. It gets a little boring uh, trying to go through this many side paths just to get to the next fight. But hello Psychic Joshua with Kadabra. There's not too many Psychic type Pokemon that they can really be pulling out here because they're not going to have the Legendary that we have. Uh, and that's our Psychic type. So we're going to Bug Bite. We don't have any Dark. Uh, we were hurtled into the air. Still managed to bite him, though. In fact, Anorith might get uh, level 40 in this gym. I don't know if we're going to get it before the leader, though. Um... This isn't the best one for us to fight, because this guy actually has pretty passable defense, as well as uh, faster than me, and is going to be hitting me with, uh, with what is it, fighting moves as well. Uh, so if I don't manage to kill him here, yeah. Uh, we're going to switch. I do not want to get wiped out. A psychic move, I guess, will work. Uh, we'll, we'll mist ball him. Because he is at least fighting, and I don't think Psychic blocks him. Oh yeah, High Jump Kick would have killed me. Uh, oh, I've got Fly. Goodbye. It's attack and defense. Interesting strategy. Um, Sure. Miss Ball will kill him. I don't know why he copied my stat changes. I 
game, I, I mean, if I was setting up and I had someone that had gotten some good stat boosts, it'd be worrisome. Uh, except I, I had. So let's get some healing out. Really, just Matias took damage there. Yeah, everyone's still full. Hit this switch, and I think it's going to turn on the quick trip and the slow trip there. I'm going to take this route. Oh, I can't take that route. I have to take... Let's head back. Take Because I want to fight everyone in this frame. Because we are that underleveled. I skipped all those trainers in the water just because Pikachu doesn't need the experience, and Pikachu's the one who really have benefited. I'm from Mount Pyre. Taste my Taste the power of my Pokemon and I have attained in the place where spirits sleep. I guess it's a good place to train up in a um, in a ghost area for a psychic type. We're worried now because Curlia is a fairy, uh, so I don't know if Bug Bite's going to be as powerful. I don't think bugs are super effective on fairies. No, and fairy actually seems to resist it. Calm Mind, I think that boosts special attack and special defense. Um, but since I know, might as well throw out the Ancient Power try to get the um, stat boosts out. Since it's going to kill Curlia in either case. Good job, Pikachu. Yeah, see? Pikachu's level 40. Doesn't really need it. Grumpig, this is definitely a bulkier Psychic. Uh, Kadabra, at least was take out a bowl in one hit usually because ooh rock move I didn't I from the look of this guy I would not have thought he was faster than me. Now, come on out cast form. We're in a sunny day for once. Get finally a look at that last form even though he has been appearing on the bottom of the screen for most of this fight. Well, okay, for most of this uh, LP, he just swaps in. Hello, fire form. Why did I go fire when the guy is using rock? Uh, we're faster than him, though, so let's fire blast. And I always thought that was like a, a person shape. Ah. Uh. Bad choices all around here. I I can accept Cast Worm going down from that. I don't know if anyone else really benefits uh, from Sunny Day. Rain Dance, at least, Swampert will benefit from. So. Discharge. This guy's defense. Holy. I really. I don't have anything to say about this. He is tanking everything. I mean, he looks tanky, so it's understandable. And his move is powerful for what we're doing. Especially against my team, as is. One they can't even attack. And he has rest. Alright. At this point, I'm going to have to bring out the big guns. Come on out, Swampert. Now holding the Mystic Water. I know he wasn't at the end of the last one. I had to switch it off of Cast Form. Um, so Swampert should now have enough force to take this guy down. And he even has a move to plan while he's asleep. At least it's not Sleep Talk. Sleep Talk would be troublesome. Yeah, that guy's defense stat. Holy... Uh, Swampert should be fine here, though. And he fainted. So we're going to go back and heal because that's half our team now incapacitated by a pig. Though, admittedly, it's a good strategy. That guy has a lot of defense. Not the style Pokemon I tended to use, though. 
So I, I definitely wasn't prepared to see uh, how tanky Grumpig is. So, uh, fortunately, I, I don't even know if we actually went to Pokemon Center, so this might be good. Yeah, it's right here. So, oh yeah, we did, right when we came in, because uh, Anorith was dead from Tentacruel's Bubble Beams. We've taken down about half the gym at this point, uh, and I think we can probably do the other half in one run. Uh, even the gym leader, because, like I was saying, the gym leader is a lot less threatening than they were in uh, the original. Uh, in because they've been nerfed on the number of Pokemon they have. They were always a double battle, uh, so that's still something you got to be used to because it's the only gym that really fits that style. But, because they're a double battle, it means I have two Pokemon to attack you with, and you're locked into only having two Pokemon for some reason. It's just how that works with double battles. It's rare to see a double battle where they do have more than uh, two Pokemon. So, I was going to say, I'm like, I wonder, can I walk around the edge? No, I'd have to go behind him. Watch me levitate a Pokeball telekinetically. Sometimes out of sync. Okay, so he just admits that he can't actually levitate one telekinetically. He's just, he, each time of these, he's just throwing them in the air. One behind him, one in front, and going with it. Because Rock-type moves are going to be an instant kill on me, I'm actually swapping out of this as well. Uh, Claydol being one of the few Psychic types that are designed to take me down. Uh, even with Bug Bite, it's not worth staying in battle for it. Power split. All right, what did you just do? Shared its power with the target. Oh, that's nice of it. Uh, we're gonna wanna first time we're showing it. We're gonna Mega Evolve and Mist Ball. Dragon's Breath probably wasn't gonna be super effective here, but uh, Mist Ball at least is gonna be decent strength, I guess. There goes Mega Latias. Nice and purple, a combination of Latios and Latios, it looks like. It's not very effective. It's a good thing we Mega Evolve, that's going to tank out a lot of the stuff for us. And paralyzed him with um, our Dragon's Breath. Another hit from that, and he's, he's pretty close to death. I didn't catch what move to use there. Uh, extra sensory, it looks like. One last Dragon's Breath, and he's dead. He does not have a weapon against us. Uh, he was still a bit troublesome, though, with how much uh, experience, like how much uh, power his Hyper Beam really throws into it. Anorith 36. Let's swap him back in. Of course, of course comes on out the water type. Anorith is definitely not known for his speed, so we're going to want to swap him out immediately. Yeah, it's weird that I keep swapping him, it is just to get double the experience. Anorith needs as much help as he can get to level up. Uh, the rest of my team is actually doing pretty passable, with uh, Wobbuffet being able to handle 10 levels difference without really much worries. Um, I don't have any real reason to not let him. Like, he'll gain levels as he gains them. Uh, I don't need to throw him into battle just for uh, the one extra, uh, no, sorry, for the extra level here and there. Uh, it's not worth the damage to my Pokemon. Whereas, once Anorith does get to 40, uh, it's going to be completely worth it for any damage that my Pokemon have done because he's going to be that much stronger. Pokemon battling is out of sync too. I mean, tough, tough luck. So we activate it and it turns on the next portal. Uh, only one soda pop left. So. Looks like Latias finally gets that. And we can await. Ah, uh, sorry. Yeah, we're going to Awakening to heal up all my Pokemon now. Nope, Moo Moo Melt, 100 HP, 20. Well, let's fight you. 
I'm getting an ominous feeling about you. Well, thank you. I try. I do very much try to have ominous feelings as much as possible. Chimeco. I think it's just a pure psychic. I don't think it's a bug psychic. Even if it's first form is. Um, so we're going to bug bite. See if that's going to be enough to take out Chimeco. Uh, I hope it is. Nope, not quite. But it only safeguarded? Alright, we're good. Uh, one more bug bite because we've got all the PP. Uh, Bug Bite is decent strength. I wish I would have kept Fury Cutter, because that will help me in other battles. But uh, Bug Bite, I guess, is stapler, because this way I can heal and do other things without worrying about breaking the chain. Oh. That looks like a clear shot straight to the leader. But first, let me see your talent. Psychic Virgil. Kadabra, there it is! Our, I think, third Kadabra of the gym. I was expecting actually a few more. I'm glad that Grumpig did surprise me there. Uh, but it is looking more and more that Anorith is not going to get a chance to. Alright, game. If you want to play that way, that's fine with me. Uh, Anerith is not going to get a chance to uh, evolve in this gem. This Kadabra is fast and hits hard. With a decent special defense. Looks like I was wrong, I am going to need to heal one more time. Down goes Cast Form. Well, Buffett, I guess if we're going to give anyone experience, Probably the most deserving of it. Ah, Miracle. Does Telekinesis even do damage? No, alright. Miracle. What is this Psychic Kick gonna do? 51 damage, so 100 damage back. Down goes Kadabra. I didn't think it had enough to survive that. Good job, Wolbefet. Gain that level. Almost at 200 health already. Uh, that's that's crazy, really. Giraffe Rig, let's keep battling. Uh, this one I think is still going to be psychic specific. So we're going to mirror coat any. Oh, it physical. Alright. Let's prep for dealing with physical hits. Zen Headbutt. I think that's still physical. Not that much damage out of it though. Let's heal up. Uh, Moo Moo Milk should be plenty. Probably only going to take about 30 damage from this next hit. Uh, it's just still not going to be enough to kill him. Oh, that's a move. That's that's scary to see. Um, I'm going to throw up counter and hope he doesn't use Crunch again. Yeah, Zen Headbutt. I think I can survive that. Flinched. Oh. The biggest issue with uh, Woba Fett is there's so many ways to prevent him from hitting you, uh, and that's that's a bit troublesome. So he's got double hit, Zen headbutt, and crunch. Crunch being the scary of the moves he's got. Um, there it is. So this will kill him uh, now that he's landed. Super effective, critical hit. Uh, you're dead, Jeff. Rick. At least Boba Fett is consistent in that respect. You possess spectacular talent. I was say, I think this is the first guy we fought, so... We are ready. We can go take on the champion now. Well, not the, the, the leader. Uh, you know what? We'll revive. We'll revive people. Get Cast Form back up. Get Anorith back up. And we're gonna Moo Moo Milk to, uh, well, patch everyone the rest of the way up. 
it's bad that like Wolf Effect's biggest downside is how much uh, healing he requires. Because to battle, you need to take damage. So I was saying earlier, it's going to be a double battle. So Anareth, you are actually leaving the lead in cast form and Swampert. You two will take care of this. I know cast form was built, like I started building him to be a fire type user, but he can still do water if he needs to. So. Hello, Tate and Liza. And these guys are exclusively what stops you from doing a one Pokemon run of this game. Were you surprised that there are two gym leaders? We're twins! We don't need to talk because we can tell we can each tell what the other is thinking. All in our minds. This combination of ours, can you beat it? And they can fly. That's that's something else to keep in mind. They can fly. Versus Liza and Tate. I don't know why I always say Tate and Liza, but I guess I'm just used to it. So, this is their Pokemon. They only have um, Swamper. Uh, sorry, not Swamper. They only have Lunatone and Solrock. Sure, they're level 45. That is a troublesome thing in its own. I'm going to Rain Dance, followed by Sir. Yeah, Cast Form is going to take a hit. Um, but, thankfully, uh, we're throwing down a Rain Dance that's going to weaken. Uh, at least, sorry, no, it's going to strengthen up our surf. And these guys are both part rock. Uh, the downside being, uh, Soul Rock just prepped a solar beam. I thought this was going to take more than one round. But you see what I mean now? This gym leader really was nerfed. Especially when you're given this combination. Um, Swampert and Cast Form it's a one-hit situation. Keep old moves, you're not going to have too much use for these. Give up on taking them. Like, done. Our, our teamwork. Yeah, you... It can't be helped you once. Take this in recognition. That was the very anticlimactic. We had more issues with some of the random trainers in here than the gym leader. Mind Badge makes all Pokemon up to level 80. Uh, obey. It also enables people with Pokemon to use Dive. Dive, that's an interesting move. Hopefully it is our answer to getting to, well, the sea floor. So stepping on this little ball teleports us back to the front of the gym. And we're gonna end it here. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire No Catch. In the next part, we're going to go try to track down Dive. It sounds like it's a move that will let us follow the submarine. See you guys then.